this is Evie Rose, and I'm back to another episode of Pokemon Platinum Blind. And this is gonna be, I'm recording this like back to back, so there's no stopping. But here's Barry. Oh, this song is supposed to be faster. I've heard this song before. It's supposed to be faster. It's too slow, alright. Let's get moving to Professor Rowan's lab. You're too slow! That's <laughs> what so I immediately got reminded of. Well, don't go in the grass, right? No worries, no problem. It doesn't matter that we don't have any Pokemon. Trust me on this one, I got an idea. Now listen, you know how mom Pokemon jump out when you go into tall grass? So what you do is scoot over to the next patch of grass before any wild Pokemon can appear. If you keep dashing, we can get the sand down without running into wild Pokemon. Okay, stick with me. What is he going to do? Okay, here he goes. Mark, get set. Hold it! There the professor is. I knew he was going to come. Professor says, You two don't seem to have any Pokemon between you. And what's the meaning of going into the tall grass? Um. Hey, Eva Rose, this old guy. <laughs> it's Professor Rowan, isn't it? What's he doing here? I already like this game. They tried to go in the tall grass because they wanted Pokemon. Quit talking to yourself. Hmm, what to do? Their world would surely change if they were if they were to meet Pokemon. Is it right for me to put them on that path? Yes, give me a freaking Pokemon. You too. You truly love Pokemon, don't you? Yes! Me too, I love Pokemon too. I will ask you once again. You two truly love Pokemon. What? You can ask a hundred times? The answer will never change. We'll both answer a hundred times. We love Pokemon. Right, Rose? Yes. A pair of reckless kids who foolishly try to enter tall grass without Pokemon of their own. It worries me what people like that would do to Pokemon. But the thing is, with the, with the whole uh, him asking again, I thought I answered no or something. Uh, well, I, uh, well then, forget about me, but give a Pokemon to my friend here. I mean, it was me who tried to go in tall grass and all. <gasps> How big of you? Uh, very well then. I will entrust you two with Pokemon. I apologize for putting you through that exercise. However, you must promise that you'll never recklessly endanger yourself again. Now then, now where? Oh, there's the guy I would have been if I would have been a guy. Professor Rowan, you left your briefcase behind at the lake. Something wrong here? Ah, there it is, Lucas. Nice work. What was I to do? Well, what about what was I about to do? What I was about to do is entrust. It was to entrust these two with their own Pokemon. I can't read. What? The Pokemon are crucial. You're giving them away? Hmm. The exists side by side of Pokemon. It comes a time when people should meet Pokemon. There's a world. There's a world that should be explored together. For them, today is that time, the place right here. Go on, open the briefcase and choose a Pokemon. Well, really, I think that people would have already met Pokemon, wouldn't they? Mm-hmm. Do I get to pick mine? Yay, and the music's better up to normal now. Okay. Look, those, these are Pokeballs. Pokemon each one. What's this one? No. No. So now my process of elimination, you know who I'm picking. Tip up! Yay! So now I've evenly chose um, one of each type of starter. Well, actually, overall, if you count black and white too, I've chosen mostly water starters. But black and white too, I had each starter on my team, so I don't really count it. Okay. Pokemon you have entrusted with are unfamiliar with the world. In that regard, they're much like you. As fellow newcomers to the world, I hope you do well together. What, are we just born or something? If you have any trouble, come see me live in Sanjum Town. And now we'll be on our way. Professor, wait for me! Uh, sorry, folks. Okay. Lag spike. How do you like that? Professor Rowan's really nice. On TV, he seems so stern and scary. Can I move? No, I can't. 
run, run, run motion. He he he, Eva. No, it's he he. He he, Eva Rose. We both got Pokemon now. There's only one thing to do. Right, right, right. Are you up with this? I know what's gonna happen. I've always wanted to say this. The time has finally come. Eva Rose, I challenge you to a battle. Oh my gosh. So, time to battle. You're challenged by Pokemon Trainer Barry. Pokemon Trainer Barry sent out Turtwig, so this is just the standard battle. Oh, this place sounds cute. Standard battle that everyone does. And it's gonna be using the mouse for battles, I think. A withdraw? Okay. I feel like I'm playing a new game, but at the same time, I feel like I'm playing Soul Silver again. <laughs> this is kind of odd feeling. I'm just going to be using Pound over and over. So, this battle's going to be boring, but it's okay, because all first battles are boring. Unless there's critical hits or something, which makes it more fun. Oh, I pip up the guy. So what am I going to name him? I have no idea. I think... I have no idea what I'm going to name him. Hey, Aubrey! What do I name a blue penguin? What do I name a blue penguin, Aubrey? Uh, I don't know. I'm asking my sister what to name this thing. Are you just, do you want a name? I just want a name. A boy or girl? A boy. Harold. Okay. Harold? Harold, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I resort to asking my sister. I guess his name is going to be Harold. Wait. <laughs> yeah, okay. I might... I might just name him Harry, is that okay? <laughs> so I'm just gonna name this thing Harry or something. Or Harry or Harold or whatever one. I think Harold sounds kinda dumb, so I think I believe Harry. Yeah, I leveled up. I knew that happened because I've been the Pokemon and no level up. Oh, the victory theme sounds different. Well, you let's go home. No, I'm being out of this battle. I'm on these rest too. See you, Rose. I think I might need to heal up, but that's it. Oh, I'm back home automatically. So, doesn't matter. Do I get the running shoes yet? What's the matter, dear? Well, that's what happened to you. You and Barry are lucky to have met Professor Bell. Imagine if you didn't. I would not think the lot of Pokemon I have done to you two. Hey, for real, go see Professor Rowan and thank him properly for your Pokemon. His lab is in Saturn Town, isn't it? Now that you have your own Pokemon, the tall grass won't be so threatening. Oh, I know, Eva Rose. Put these on. Eva Rose receives a pair of running shoes. Yes! Those running shoes you can get from are much faster. Oh, I don't need to know about this. I just want to run around. The walk speed in this game is so slow, so the run speed is amazing. Whee! Finally run. Okay. Too slow. I'm seeing sick of reading. I'm going to see Professor Rowan so I can think him properly. So I have this great idea. Listen up, okay? You know that lake where we always play at? You know how they say a legendary Pokemon lives there? You guessed it. Let's catch that Pokemon and make Professor Rowan happy. I'm sure of that. Um, I'm pretty sure we're not going to be able to catch that, Barry. Me and you together, we've got nothing to fear. Okay, so, we'll leave it at this. Um, okay. I'm actually... Okay, i never played this game before, but using Pokemon Logic, we're not going to be catching that legendary. So, am I wrong? Don't tell me. Just wait. In the next episode, we'll see... Is he going to catch it? Okay. This is Evie Rose saying bye.